Hello, everybody. My name is Ray. Welcome to the Evangelical Dark Web. Today, we'll be talking about uh, Juliana Zobrist and how these evangelical feminists are white knighting for her, pretending that she is a victim when she cheated on her husband with a with their pastor, with their former pastor, Byron Yan, I believe is his name. So let's just set some background. This is a long story, probably even longer than I even know. But the story goes that Ben Zobris is this world class. He is a stud baseball player. He's a World Series champion. I believe he won an MVP in the World Series that he won. Pretty big deal. That makes him a pretty um, uh, formidable athlete. And he's also a Christian. So he has done speaking gigs at, say, Liberty University. So you know he's a Christian celebrity in the athletics field. And then we have his wife, Juliana Zobrist who is a Christian pop singer. And, okay, I got to put out the fact that she's terrible. At the risk of YouTube trying to put a copyright thing, let's just comment on this song right here. This is her hit song, Alive. No, wait, that's just National Anthem. She, did a nat- she does the National Anthem at baseball games as well. Her voice is so like auto tuned. That you forget my history. Now I'm telling everybody about the changes in my heart. Ah. I want everyone to get the chance to have a brand new start. I feel love. Okay, that that refrain sounds very unoriginal. Something about that just seems very derivative of a past pop song. But, yeah, I don't think she's very talented, but that's her big song. So, this is a Christian celebrity marriage on both fronts. And just like secular celebrity marriages, they didn't last. They got divorced in 2018. And I believe details about extramarital affairs was known back then because you see on these comment sections, yeah, she looks like she would cheat on her husband. Like, you see that in the comment sections from 2018, that she looks like a hoe? And, you know, it was kind of known then. So I guess that was um, public knowledge back then. But what came out now, why this is popping up now, is because um, Ben um, Zobrist is... Filing a lawsuit against Byron Byron Yon. I can't pronounce that name for some reason. And he's suing him for like millions of dollars in damages. And I don't know what the precedent is for being able to sue someone for sleeping with your wife. I wish there were... I don't think there's grounds for that personally. I, I wish there were grounds for that because in the Bible, that's damages. That's damages. Actually, I believe they'd both get stoned. Is I believe that's how that would play out in scripture because, you know, they violated the law and they broke a covenant marriage. So, but you see all these evangelical white knight feminist types and, you know, credit where credit is due. And by credit, I mean that in the bad way um, because Julie Royce is really the type that cultivates this because Julie Royce is a man hater. You know, I, I just got to be blunt about that. She's a man hater and a lot of people love her reporting, but not only is she a man hater, but she's a branch COVIDian. She's a cultist for the branch COVIDians. So she's like a COVID stand Nazi. So I, I, I don't really think her ministry is what she would call it is legitimate. And she's, you know, she goes after men hardcore. And a lot of these men deserve it. Let's be real. A lot of these men deserve it. James McDonald deserves it. Um, Ravi Zacharias deserves it. Although Lorianne Thompson is not a victim. She, um, like Juliana 
Zobris was having an affair and cheating on her husband. That is not cool. You're not a victim if you're doing that. But that's the narrative that this mentality, this Christian evangelical, Christianese evangelical feminism cultivates. And that's what Julie Royce cultivates. She hates men. And, you know, this really shows up when she goes after men for very unleg- illegitimate reasons. Like, I believe she started going after John MacArthur for the go home comments on Beth Moore. And, you know, and then she started going after him for opening up his church, which is biblical during lockdowns because she's a branch COVIDian. You know, the government or not, maybe not the government, but her eschatology is COVID. So she went after John MacArthur for that. Then she went after John MacArthur for being rich. But, you know, her homegirl, Beth Moore, gets a total pass. You know, when it comes to Beth Moore leaving the SBC, which is a complete business decision, Beth Moore left the SBC because her ministry was losing money because she couldn't make money with an SB Southern Baptist audience. So she needed to go to that Episcopalian money or that Hillsong deeper into that Hillsong chest. So, you know, that, so Beth Moore left the SBC out of a complete business decision because she's rich too. But Julie Royce to Beth Moore is like, you go girl. But Julie Royce to John MacArthur is like, you're Joel Osteen. It's like, she has no standard other than if it's a man, it's bad. So I don't trust Julie Royce and she's cultivating this evangelical feminism that women are not accountable when they cheat on their husbands. And that's not biblical. And that needs to be pointed out. And you see that more in her own comments. Uh, You see this one simp guy and this could be a bot account for all I know. It's called clergy sex abuse. It's not an affair. Would have hoped Julie Royce would have used the correct term. You know, it's hard to report on neutrally on situations like this. I'm reporting a claim by Ben Zobrist in a lawsuit. Since he doesn't use the word abuse, I didn't feel free to use it. Perhaps I should have written around it and just called it a sexual relationship. And you see, everyone can see right through this nonsense, except for these evangelical feminists, like the sports media is tearing her apart. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Predator, but you've probably seen that meme where the ripped white arm and the ripped black arm lock, you know, and you see the meme where it's like two opposing sides agreeing on a finding common ground. I don't think Barstool's audience is incompatible with an evangelical audience, but they are locking like a real evangelical audience, not these evangelical feminist types, but you know, they're locking arms over this issue is no, she a hell. Let's call that what it is. She cheated on her husband with their pastor. Uh, and she's in the wrong for that. Is he a scumbag? Absolutely. Absolutely. He's a scumbag, but she consented to this. She's a willing participant. It's not rape just because he has power. And that's what feminism, uh, that's an assumption in feminism. You, you got to look at feminism. Feminist theory is a branch under critical theory. So we got critical theory up here, feminist theory, critical race theory, they're cousins or brothers and sisters. And then you also got queer theory, which is a lot of the homosexuality stuff. And feminist theory focuses on power dynamics between men and women and how men are oppressors, toxic masculinity. These terms are starting to ring a bell to you, I hope. And the idea is that because men are in positions of power, women aren't accountable for what happens. So the idea being here, and this is more emphasized in one of Julie Royce's followers, uh, this guy and who says Juliana Zobris did not have an affair with her former pastor. That jackal used his position of authority and his inside knowledge to prey on her. It's called grooming. 
This was clergy sexual abuse. And that last line is incorrect and wrong. That's not sexual abuse. She cheated on her husband. She cheated on her husband. Everyone else can see right through this nonsense. Everyone else. Everyone else. Nice to know Juliana Zobris' morals are as solid as her singing ability. Ouch. Every Cubs fan who had to suffer through hearing Juliana Zobris scream Benny in her Benny of the Jets cover for Ben's walk-ups all these years are rooting like hell for Ben to get all $6 million in his lawsuit. Juliana Zobris, Byron Yawn Affair revelation today is sickening. A pastor giving a giving marriage counseling while simultaneously having an affair with one of the spouses under the banner of the Christian faith. What a snake. This is the worst type of human being. Um, that one's more about the pastor. Juliana Zobris was allegedly banging the former, the family pastor after her husband, Ben won world series MVP for the Chicago Cubs. Juliana Zobris before the worst. Now the worst. I've been blocked by Juliana Zobris on Instagram. Way to go, bro. Uh, Juliana Zobris is a literal monster and a massive, massive scumbag. Don't forget that. Everyone else can see it. Except for these evangelical feminist types that want to play her as the victim of some sort of sexual abuse. You know, when Paul says um, about the guy having sex with his... I believe it was mother-in-law or was it his mom or something weird. And it's like, throw him out of the church. Even the pagans know this is wrong. When Paul says that in Corinthians, like, this is the same type of mentality. Even the pagans know she's wrong. Even the pagans know what she did was wrong and horrible. They're not excusing her as a victim. Even the pagans aren't doing this. Why are evangelical feminist excusing her excusing her as a victim and julie royce is complicit in proliferating this bad mentality and it's because a lot of them have adopted feminism and feminism has no place in the church because it's unbiblical we see it in this application of feminism where it says because of this power dynamic it was actually rape it was actually abuse because of this power dynamic. And that's not biblical. You know, in order for something to be rape, according to scripture, you have to be overpowered. And I believe this also, the principle of scripture is also applies to being mentally overpowered. Like if you are mentally incapable of consenting, like a 12 year old child, you know, and you get manipulated into something. I believe the principle of scripture applies to that situation as well as a first degree rape. So what I just described as second degree rape. And I believe as well as first degree rape where you are gun to the head um, raping someone. That is rape according to scripture. First and second degree rape. But this isn't that. That's not rape. She cheated on her husband. She's not a victim. Ben is the victim here. And, you know, they were like a Christian celebrity power couple back in the day. And, it, you know, they got divorced a while back. And, you know, a lot of this stuff came out then. But I guess not all of it was the specifics on who. Um, I'm not sure if those did. But the fact that in this lawsuit, they're trying to, like, frame this as she was an abuse victim is wrong, it's unbiblical, and it's feminism. And it should not be in the church. Feminism has no respect for God's law. It has no respect for God's righteous standard. And it undermines biblical hierarchy. Those are just a few reasons to hate feminism, but there are many more, I promise you. It ruins movies. It ruins TV shows. There are many reasons to hate feminism. But I'll leave it at that today. 
My name is Ray. This is the Evangelical Dark Web. If you like this kind of content, subscribe to the channel as well. Do not be a feminist. Let me know in the comment section what you think about what I think. And, you know, subscribe to Evangelical Dark Web as well, like I said. And I will catch you on the next one. Have a blessed day.